Hi, Friartown. Athletic Director Steve Napoil here, and I'm so excited on Senior Week to have Friar great Eddie Croswell. Eddie, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. Eddie, you know, as you uh, look back on your Friar career this week, it was really special for me as senior pitchers to see you with that gown on and getting ready for graduation. Give the fans out there that feeling. You know, I'm a first-generation grad. Uh, I'm going to be a first-generation grad in my family, so it's like it's a big-time thing for me and my family. So I'm just uh, uh, paving the steps for people coming up after me, my family, my brothers and sisters, you know. My mom's gonna be really proud and stuff like that. That's that's one thing she wanted out of me to come to college and get a good education and a great school. All Friartown's so proud of you and uh, can't wait to see you up on that stage Sunday. You've deserved it and worked really hard for that. Eddie, give the fans out there as you try to take a, a, a moment to look back on coming to Providence and what you achieved and uh, not only individually, but as a team. Have you been able to take a step and say, wow, what a ride? Yeah, um, over the last couple of months, you know, I sat down. I had so many great teammates. Uh, my teammates made it special. You know, uh, we had a Sweet 16 team made it special. The team before that made it special. I appreciated the team before that. And um, and this year's team made it like my, my career even more special because I feel like I could take those guys in and uh, be a leader, you know, and show them what Friar Town is actually about and stuff like that. And you know, Friar Town just helped, it, made it even better because, you know, we have the fans, we have the, the community to support us, you know, the arena to, for everybody to come down and cheer for us. And then, you know, we just had that culture and it became a social event. And I just love playing basketball for Friar Town. Ed, when you, is there a one moment that always sticks out in your mind when you, when you go to bed at night thinking about, you know, what's really been the most special here at PC? Man, it was definitely uh, once we, uh, hosted that that championship uh, trophy up, and all the fans stormed the court. It was it was crazy, you know. Energy was high. Uh, we knew we won the game with like ten minutes left, and, and uh, you know, just to see all our friends in the stands, family in the stands, my parents back home watching on TV, and just that night was just an amazing night. It was a wonderful day, you know. We we really celebrated that day, and and you know, it was it was big time for us. What do you say, you know, a lot of potential recruits come sit down. You, I see you talking to them. What do you tell them why they should come to Providence College? Uh, I tell potential recruits to come to Providence College because this is a place that love workers, that love people that love the grind, that love people that love basketball and love people that embrace the community, you know. So if you want to come here and you, you're willing to embrace the community, willing to work, willing to show your your characteristics out on the court, they're just going to open arms and bring you in. I, I, I appreciate that to all the guys. And and it, it's just amazing to see how this community, coaching staff and teammates really care about you. And they're just going to be around you and love you up. Coach Kim always says to me, he wishes he had you for one more year. How's your interaction been with him and the new staff? You know, Coach Kim, uh, they, they brought me in. It wasn't like a weird transition for me, you know. I hopped right in practice with them. He invited me to practice and I, I let him coach me like he was coaching me for a first year, like a like I was coming in as a freshman. Like I didn't deviate against his plan or try to disrupt disrupt practice or anything like that. I just wanted to show these guys, like help them transition from Coach Cooley to Kim English. And it was pretty smooth. Kim, Kim, I enjoyed my time with Kim. He helped me on pointers with my uh going on to the next level with NBA and stuff like that. So Ken, Ken's been very, very helpful for me over the last couple of months. Give Friar fans a little insight, kind of how your next few months are looking. I know you've been going to camps and you've been doing great. So congratulations on, you know, getting the selection at your recent one. Give, what's your game plan? All right. So um, this next couple of months, I have a lot of NBA workouts and stuff. So uh, after graduation, my agent and I, we, we we're going to be hitting the road a lot and traveling all across the country, like to several NBA teams, working out with them and uh, getting ready for the um, NBA draft and stuff like that. So, and then um, after that, we'll have the summer summer league and I'll be playing on a summer league team this summer and in Las Vegas. So hopefully everybody in Firetown can go get a jersey, you know, watch me play and stuff like that. So it should be fun. I know I've seen a lot of uh, youngsters around the uh, amp wearing Eddie Croswell jersey. So I can't wait to see him with Friar and NBA jerseys yeah. soon. Um, Eddie, what do you want to say to the fans? I know uh, we talk about it all the time together. Uh, 
that building's one of the best in the country. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you leave here, what do you want to say to all the Friar family? Man, I really just, I just want to say like how much I really appreciate how much enthusiasm everybody has here. It's just, un it's unmatched. Like you're not going to get it nowhere else. Uh, this, the Providence is the NBA team in Rhode Island and you guys treat us like celebrities here. And I really appreciate the fact that you guys just let us be ourselves and go out there on the court and, you know, ball our hearts off for you guys. And, you know, I can't wait to come back and watch a game, you know, just can't, can't wait to get back and see the energy, you know, always giving back and watch my teammates grow. Well, on behalf of all of us in Friartown, first of all, congratulations on getting your degree. Thank you. Congrats on all you did for Friartown. And I can make a promise to you that this is always your home. You and your family always welcome back. And all of us are really excited to watch how your career goes. And we're going to be watching closely in Friartown. So thanks for all you did for us. Appreciate you now. Wish you all the best. Thank, man. You. Thank you. Go Friars. Go Friars.